this is Brittany from Hand to Mind. This is our second grade teach at home math video series. This is week four, day one. So we've been talking a lot about different types of addition strategies. And today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorites. It's called the over and adjust strategy. It's when I can look at a number and I can see that it's really close to a really good friendly number, like the number 29, for instance. 29 is really close to 30. So instead of adding, let's say, 63 plus 29, I could add 63 plus 30. And then I can just adjust. So come join me today as we learn about the strategy called over and adjust. So today, we're going to begin by looking at a situation so that we can use a strategy that might make it e easier to solve the problem. So here is the situation we're gonna look at. You can follow along with me or you can read it as well as while I'm reading it. It starts like this. Alyssa wrote 46 stories during the school year. Then she wrote 29 more stories at home. How many stories did Alyssa write? So as a mathematician, the first thing we wanna do is ask ourselves who or what is this about? So who or what is this about? Did you say this was about Alyssa? And stories that she's written, right? And what do we wanna know about Alyssa and these stories? Well, we're trying to figure out how many stories she's written, right? We wanna know. So what information do we have? Well, we know that she wrote 46 stories during the school year. So she wrote 46 stories during the school year. And she wrote 29 more stories while at home. So 29 more stories while at home. So if I was going to write a equation to represent this problem, what might that look like? What are we going to start with? So we can write an equation that started with 46 and then what happened? Well, she read 29 more. That means it's joining, which is addition, and we're looking for how many stories she read in all, right? Okay, so this looks like a, an addition, this looks like a problem that we could use addition for. So if I was to do this, I'm going to, I just started to notice something about the number 29. You know, I know 29 is really close to 30. And so I was wondering, could I add 46 plus 30 instead? Hmm, is that possible? Could I do that? Would that give me the right answer? Or would I need to do something else? Hmm, well, let's just try it and see, okay? So in order to do this, I'm gonna model today on an open number line. An open number line is just a number line that doesn't have any numbers. So we're gonna start um, just the way we had it. So we're gonna start with 46, and then instead of 46 plus 29, I'm going to add 46 plus 30, because 46 plus 30 is really close to this, and 40 and 30 is a really friendly number. So. If I was gonna do 30, I know 30 is the same thing as 10 plus 10 plus 10. So I'm gonna start there. So I'm gonna jump a 10 because I know what happens when we add 10 to a number. The ones stay the same and the tens increase by 110. So if it's 46, 10 more is 56. Yeah, so I need, so I've got that 110. Let's do another one. So where am I at if I'm at 56 and 10 more? The ones stay the same, it increases. I'm at 66. Let's do one more. So that's a two, that's three. 66 and 10 more gets me to 76. So is that my 30? Well, yeah, that's the 30 that I said I was gonna jump. But the problem said 29. So I asked you, can I do 30? 
Well, I can, but then what do I have to do? I have to adjust one, don't I? I have to go back one. Because if I don't go back one, then I've, I've jumped 30 and I was only supposed to add 29. So if I go back one, where will I be? I'll be at 75. So what we just solved is 46 plus 30, we know is 76, but then we did 76 minus one to get 75. Yeah, so that was a really nice way of adding 29. I could think 30, and then I could just adjust one to get to 75. So let's practice this idea of looking at numbers and going over and then adjusting, okay? So in order to do this, what I want you to do is I want you to have a piece of paper, if you would like, or you can do the problems in your head. So if you have paper and you wanna write on paper, then write the problem and write the answer. If not, then you can do it in your head and that's okay as well. Okay. So here is the first problem. The first problem is 54 plus 20. Ooh, that's one of those nice ones, right? What's 54 plus 20? Did you say 74? And if you said 74, how did you get 74? Hmm, I wonder I always like to model on an open number line for this type of problem. So I wonder how many of you are like, well, 54, I could start at 54, and I know 20 is composed of 10 and 10. So if I jump 10, I know 10 more is gonna get me to 64, and 10 more is gonna get me to 74. Ah, oh, that is a really nice way. I wonder if, was there anybody though that instead of doing the two tens, you're like, I can do 54 and 20 in my head because I know this and this equal this. Yeah, so some of you may be going, yeah, I could totally do 10 and 10. I, I don't have to do 10 and 10. I can just do the whole jump of 20. Well, great job. So let's look at the next one. What is 54 plus 19? 54 plus 19. Hmm. How many of you got 73? Did you get 73? And I wonder, did anybody notice anything? Did anybody notice that 19 is really close to 20? And we started with the same number. So could we do what we did a while ago in our story? Could I start at 54? And since I already know what 20, 54 and 20 is, what is that? Did you say 74? But I only needed to add 19. So what did you do? Oh, you could go back one and that gets you to 73. That's a really nice way of adding 54 plus 19 using something that's really friendly. Okay, well, let's try another one. What is 68 plus 30? What's 68 plus 30? That's another nice one. Hmm. Did you get 98? And if you got 98, how did you do that? How many of you got 98 because you started at 68 and you went 10 and that's how much? 78 and you got 10 more and that's how much? 70, 88 and then you went 10 more and how much is that? 98. Well, where's your 30? Where's your 30? Well, did you say if I put the three tens together, that's the 30? Yeah, so I wonder how many of you were like, I didn't do 10 plus 10 plus 10, I just did the whole 30. I went 68 and 30, those are really nice numbers, and I can just add three tens to 68 and know that that's gonna be nine tens and I'm gonna have those eight ones. Yeah, that's a really nice way. So let's look at the next one. What is 68 plus 29? 
What is 68 plus 29? How many of you said, well, it's 97? Because, why is it 97? How many of you noticed something? Did you notice we started with the same number as the one before? Mm-hmm. And what do you know about 29? It's one less than 30. So I can start at 68. I already know 68 and 30 is 98 because we just did that. But I only needed to add 29. So I'm going to adjust one and that gets me 97. It's a really nice way of looking at 68 plus 29. So let's do one more problem. What about 63 plus 29? I wonder, is there a way to get to something friendly on this one, to do something friendly and then adjust? Hmm. How many of you got 92 as your answer? And how many of you did what we were doing a while ago, where we were going over and adjusting? So how many of you are like, I know something about 29. 29 is really close to 30. And I like 63 and 30 because 63 is just six tens and three tens, which makes nine tens. And those ones stay the same. So I'm at 93. But we didn't want 30, did we? We wanted to add 29. So what did we have to do? We had to adjust one and that got us 92. It's a really nice way. So this is called over and adjust. So what we've talked about today is a strategy called over and adjust. It's a strategy that you can use when you are adding numbers. When you look at numbers and you can see that relationship. So let's talk about how you could use over and adjust for 28 plus 18. So one of the things you probably noticed is that we didn't do anything to one of the add-ins. We kept one of the add-ins whole. We didn't break it up, we just kept it whole. But the other add-in, we did look for a relationship. And so do you see a relationship here on 18? Yeah, so I see the relationship that 18 is really close to what? Did you say 20? So what does that look like here? If I do 28, and 20, what does that give me? You know that's 48. But I was only supposed to add 18. Hmm. So can I adjust? Yeah. How many do I need to adjust though? Two. I need to adjust two. And so if I adjust two, now I'm at 46. Now I'm at 46. So, today we've been talking about over and adjust. If you would like to practice this skill a little bit more, go to handtomind.com where you can download some more activities that will reinforce this skill. Hope you all have a great rest of the day.